Oh, what's going on guys welcome to another video so this is gonna be some shadow news i haven't had shadow news in a while i've still been testing a lot of things for their service i have two shadow boost packages um but i haven't had a lot of shadow news because they haven't had a lot to share and they have been bogged down big time well yesterday and today that has changed there's definitely some news and some things people have been talking about, especially when it comes to the delays and the issues that Shadow has been having, keeping up with the demand for the service. It's become a really big issue for a lot of people, and um, at least they came out now and on the forum have answered some questions. So let's go over there. We're going to take a look at what this news is, and we'll talk about it a little bit. So what will be the duration of the delay? So now, unfortunately, myself and you are not going to be able to get the Ultra and Infinite packages. So it is estimated that all Shadow, Ultra, and Infinite Pre-orders are delayed to the beginning of 2021. However, given the current situation, there are many unknowns and we do not have enough clarity to provide a definitive answer. What is the cause of the delay? The enforced COVID-19 lockdown impacted our end of summer rollout plan in many facets, including supply chain, production, labor, and access to data centers. Why weren't the delays communicated sooner? We were waiting to have a clearer view on the situation Unfortunately, due to its complexities, we, uh, we are unable to get more information. We will keep you informed as the situation evolves. So really quickly, before I continue on there, the duration of the delay, the cause of delay, <coughs> the delay, and the communication, they all kind of go together. We've all been in kind of the same boat, wondering when do lockdowns end, when, when can we get back to normal, when can businesses get back to normal. I've been trying to build PCs this summer and in spring. It's been very difficult to get parts, extremely difficult. you got to watch for price gouging. I mean, it's nasty right now trying to buy PC parts. So I can tell you there's definitely they're having issues, okay, with the supply chains. They need many products, uh, many parts coming from different supply chains and things like that. When they launched their three new tiers and kind of became mainstream in March, like March 13th, some, something like that, that's the exact same week that all the lockdowns and things had started as well. So it was like a perfect storm to really mess up Shadow. They got a flood of new customers with those new tiers and they got all kinds of new attention. But then a lot of the lockdowns happened, supply chain things happened, access to the data centers like they're talking about. So it does suck, and I know a lot of people hate it. There's a lot of people very angry at Shadow right now. But with everything that's been going on, I really don't think any of this is their fault, and I don't think they would have released those tiers and had this whole plan laid out if they would have known anything about what was about to happen. So I really will give them the benefit of the doubt on this. Hopefully come next spring, they can get a handle on this and get caught up because there's other issues as well. Uh, so let's go on here. How do I cancel my pre-order? You can cancel your pre-order at any time on your customer account page via the My Orders tab to receive a full refund up to five to 10 business days. For more information, please read the Help Center article. They make it really easy, uh, by the way. Will Shadow Ultra and Infinite remain the same as advertised? Yes, the components and hardware will remain the same as initially announced. So the only issue with that is because they are already so far behind in their activations and they have so much catch up to do, it's probably going to also push back any plans they would have had to increase uh, or upgrade parts. So we've got uh, Ampere. 30 series RTX cards coming out this year in September. Those are also going to be coming to GeForce Now, the NVIDIA cloud gaming service. Um, there's other cloud PC services out there that will be looking to upgrade as well and that already have really nice AMD 3900X CPUs, 2700X, and those kinds of things running their services. So there are companies kind of catching up on that. Shadow is a little rough when it comes to the CPU side. Um, it bottlenecks the system a little bit. I cover that in some videos. I, I love Shadow. It works great for me, but it does have a CPU issue um, when it comes to a little bit of bottlenecking on their builds. And also, if hardware is going to remain the same and they don't catch up till next year sometime, say in spring, um, and then they start thinking about upgrades and, and catching that up, which who knows when that'll happen. It could definitely put them to next fall or winter at the earliest, if not later, before they're able to start upgrading builds. And by then, we'll only be a few months from the next series of graphics cards coming out. So I, I don't know what all is going to go on with that just yet. But I know the first thing they've got to do is just catch up and take care of all the plans and all the tiers they have right now before they can even think about the upgrades. But it's something for the consumer to think about. 
Are users still being activated on Shadow Boost? Shadow Boost pre-order activations will continue to be activated with a slight delay. For more information, check your account page. I went on just a few minutes ago before making this video, and for my area, you can still get Boost, and it would be activated by November, is what they say on their website for me here. So I want to jump over and show you just, it's very similar information, but coming over here to the Shadow News Ultra and Infinite Delays special recap, they say just a couple of different things here. So with the cause of delay, we already know the main part. And then, of course, they say, for example, due to travel restrictions, Shadow staff could no longer meet with their suppliers in Asia and the U.S. Additionally, Shadow staff could not visit the data centers. With uh, supply chain issues, there's also very limited stock available. So that's what we were talking about with the cause of delays. Um, and then the delivery date estimate. Um, in the best case, best case scenario, Shadow Ultra and Shadow Infinite will be delivered in the beginning of 2021, which could be the first three or four months, the beginning of, right? This is an estimate because it is really difficult to foresee what will happen in the next six months. Nobody really knows with everything going on what's going to happen with all the supply chains and people having to stay home uh, and things like that. So shadow boost impacted. So uh, there is a delay, of course, for boost one to two months. And I was just talking about that as well. Um, however, this delay is not at all connected to the shadow ultra or shadow infinite delays. Those are a separate issue over from boost. And moving on to the uh, additional information here, questions. Um, this is what about additional storage? And this is, ha has been a big issue for users as well. Storage is a huge issue when it comes to shadow, <clears throat> even if you're willing to pay for it. It's just not available. So it says additional storage is a similar situation to Shadow Ultra and Shadow Infinite. We therefore cannot make a time estimate on when it will be available. So I'm assuming between supply, going to the data centers, setting these things up, they've got a huge issue with, with storage. And I'm guessing they're going to want to catch up all of the activations and the builds and get everything caught working the way they want before they really even concentrate on a lot of the additional storage options right now. So it says, what makes Shadow Boost easier to activate than Ultra or Infinite? And a lot of people still understand the whole concept of Shadow and all the separate PCs and that kind of thing going on. Um, so it says, Shadow Ultra and Shadow Infinite are very new technology. Every piece needs to fit precisely in order for it to work. We don't have any backups if something were to go wrong because it is so new. We have been working on Shadow Boost for a while now. So if something fails, we have more backup options to keep it running. It is important to remember that this is a fresh delay. Shadow staff cannot report all the information right now because there are a lot of moving parts. However, when more precise information becomes available, you'll be the first to know. So that's what's going on. At least they came out and communicated and people will have a real idea of what's going on and they can decide if they want to sign up and wait. Um, unless you really want to get your hands on Boost, which I still do recommend. Uh, I like the service. I love Shadow. I think it's great. Even with these issues, uh, it'll be great to see them get caught up next year and really start to move forward rather than just catching up because I think they have a lot more potential to tap into. So if this is a service you're still interested in and you're willing to take it as it is for now, definitely sign up for Boost. But nobody's signing up for Ultra or Infinite until next year, it would look like. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. That is the Shadow News for now. Not great news, but I'm glad they came out with some communication. So um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below. Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.